Hello everyone, it's Chris and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I will show you how I built this customized small 8x8 LED matrix that could be controlled from an Arduino board. So let's get started. The main part of our matrix is the Mac 7219 display driver widely used in several applications and we will need to drive the LED matrix display. The circuit supports SPI communication so we will only need 3 Arduino pins to drive the 64 LEDs of the matrix. Starting with the schematic design, I used Altium Designer to draw the circuit diagram where I placed 64 LEDs of package 0603 arranged in 8x8 matrix. Pay attention to the LEDs connection because the Mac 7219 is able to drive common cathode displays, so we need to connect the cathodes of each column to the digit output pins and the anodes of each row to the segments output pins starting from the DP pin. You can bring the Mac 7219 CAD files to Altium by searching them in Octopart. There you can find a very developed electronics components library that you could use in your schematic designs. I also used this 10k ohm resistor to set the LED's current intensity based on the LED's that I'm using. You can define the appropriate resistor value following the MAC7219 datasheet. This circuit gets display updates from the data input pin and could be connected to other MAC7219 drivers through the data output pin, so I gave access to these pins through these headers. I then transformed the circuit schematic to a PCB design and arranged the LEDs in 8x8 matrix. Be careful to the LEDs order while arranging them. The easier way to do this is by viewing both the schematic and the PCB documents at the same time. Go to the Documents tab and right click then select the Split Vertical option and this will split the view to show both the schematic and PCB. Then you check the Cross Prop tool to highlight the component in the PCB view when selecting it from the schematic view. The Align Components tool will help you to do the appropriate matrix alignments. All LEDs are set to the top side and the rest of the components are set to the bottom PCB side and here is a 3D view of the matrix. I then generated the design Gerber files and submitted them to GLC PCB for PCB ordering. I set the purple soda mask color for this matrix and then waited for 5 days to receive this blue box carrying my PCBs and here is how it looks the design it circuit. I also ordered the design related stencil to help me with the matrix assembly. Now I'm ready to start assembling the matrix. The first step is solder paste deposit. So here I'm using the stencil and this is certainly a great technique because it helps equally deposit the solder paste for uniform assembled parts. Now it's time to place the LEDs one by one. You can refer to Altium 365 assembly tool to help you avoid any parts misplacement or wrong part orientation while assembling your circuit prototype. After getting the LEDs well placed, I used my small hot plate to complete the assembly and here is a microscopic view of the LED soldering process. Now we move to the bottom side of the matrix where I place it solder paste to assemble the Max 7219 and the decoupling capacitors alongside with the 10k ohm resistor. I use the hot air gun to reflow the parts. The final assembly step is soldering these male header connectors to connect the matrix to the Arduino. Never forget to clean the board after soldering with some flux removal solvent. And here is my matrix ready to connect to Arduino. 
I connected the 5 volt and ground pins to Arduino, then I wired the matrix data input pin to Arduino pin 11, the chip select pin to Arduino pin 10, and clock pin to Arduino pin 13. I used this Arduino LED control library allowing me to access LED pixels, rows and columns, so I draw some animations to display them through the matrix using this online matrix sprite generator. I then uploaded the code to my Arduino and here is my matrix shiny. This module could be extended to other modules and this is what I will show you in the coming video, so stay tuned. That's it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed this circuit that you could try at home. One last thing, make sure that you are doing electronics every day. It was Chris, see you next time.